Hi, I'm Richard McKenzie, co-author of Microeconomics for MBAs. This uh, video module will be concerned with price leadership from a dominant producer. In the main, we will be addressing the issue, how might a dominant producer think through uh, the problem of, of setting the price in a market uh, filled with uh, uh, other smaller uh, producers? We can turn to a graph that's taken directly from the textbook. In the left-hand side of the uh, picture, you have um, uh, the supply of, of a good made by a number of small producers. Uh, this is a summation of their marginal uh, cost curves. Here you have the market demand uh, for the good. If there were not another dominant producer in the market, the price would be set at uh, P1 and the quantity would be uh, Q1. Uh, however, there is this dominant producer over here that it does not play into the construction of this supply curve. This dominant producer can reason that if, it's, if the price is P1, uh, it can sell, sell nothing. Or if it tries to charge above a price of P1, then it will sell nothing because the total market uh, demand will be fully satisfied by these smaller producers. However, if the price is below uh, P1, say at P2, the quantity being supplied by the smaller producers will be Q2. The quantity demanded uh, by the entire market will be Q3. Uh, now this means that uh, the dominant producer can satisfy uh, this shortage over here. Or to put it in another way, that at a price of P2, the quantity demanded by the dom from the dominant producer will be Q3 minus Q2. Or we go over here and we plot this horizontal distance here, which is about uh, right there. Now those, these two points, P1 and this other lower point, uh, gives us the dominant producer's demand curve, which we can draw in uh, like this. Uh, that's the demand it's going to um, uh, face. That is, as the price comes down, the gap between the quantity being demanded in the market and the quantity being supplied by the smaller producers uh, grows. That means the quantity demanded from the dominant producer uh, expands. Well, the dominant producer faces a downward sloping uh, demand curve as a consequence, and as a result of that, it will have a marginal, uh, call, marginal revenue curve that looks like this. Uh, as a consequence of that, uh, the dominant producer can equate um, uh, marginal cost equal to uh, marginal revenue and it will therefore produce uh, Q, we'll call that little d. Once it produces uh, QD, uh, it can then price the product at uh, P2. Uh, at P2, quantity QD here will be equal to uh, the gap between Q3 and uh, Q2. Uh, um, the lesson to be learned here is that uh, uh, the dominant producer may appear to be uh, uh, leading the market, but it's really taking its lead uh, from what the uh, smaller producers are willing to do, and it's really just filling, uh, filling the market uh, with units not being provided by other uh, producers. Thank you for being with me.